Martin Luther King Jr. once said, a genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. We here at KYA are here to make a change. Before we can make a change for others, we must first make a change in ourselves. This requires confidence. This requires courage. And it also requires audacity. Before you are ever to step in and make a change in others, you must step in and make a change in you. If you want to change, you must have confidence in your decisions. As said by Norman Vincent Peale, believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be successful or happy. If we can't have confidence in the decisions we make for ourselves, how can we have confidence in the decisions that are for others? If you aren't confident, how can others be confident in you? Confidence is not the only characteristic of a leader, but also courage. To make a positive difference, you must be courageous in your decisions. Nelson Mandela once said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but it's he who conquers that fear. How can anyone trust us to make decisions if we never have the courage to make those bold decisions for ourselves? <coughs> to have the courage to make a positive change in others, you must first have the po courage to make a positive change in your own life. To do this, think about what you want to change about the world. Now go. Be that change. To make a change, you must also have the audacity to do it. You see, audacity is defined as boldness or daring, especially with confident disregard of conventional thought or restrictions. You see, can you make those bold decisions with total disregard of conventional thought? This is necessary if you were to make a change in a way that others might think of as preposterous or even impossible. If we are ever to lead others in the direction of positive change, we must first change ourselves. We must have confidence in our decisions, have the courage to make those decisions, and have the simple audacity to pursue those decisions. Go ahead. Do not search for change. Mold the change. Thank you.
No matter how impossible that is, you are destined to be you. That word impossible is a con contradiction to itself. It says, I'm possible. So take initiative and be the person you want to be. But you have to work. And that's exactly what is going to be seen throughout these few days. And no matter the outcome, we will achieve greatness.